When Dr. Houston Barber arrived as principal at Fern Creek High in Jefferson County seven years ago, it had been identified as a persistently low achieving school. We were five percentile in the state, so we literally were performing only better than five percent of the schools in the state. And uh, that was in math and reading, and then also our college and career readiness rate was below 19 percent. Um, and then, of course, our graduation rate was in the 60s, 60 percent, uh, 65. And so we knew that the intentional practices of moving every child to the next level was not there. But now they have a lot to brag about. Fern Creek Traditional High is a communications, media, and arts magnet school. It has the district's only student-run radio station, 92.7 FM, and they offer the Marine Corps JROTC program that's earned the 14th consecutive national championship. Another distinction, a national model for a turnaround high school. Describe for me, if you will, the state intervention and how, uh, I don't want to say they cleaned house, but how would you describe what the state did? Well, uh, imagine this. Um, you know, you're sitting across a table from uh, the Department of Education and, and they've said, you know, you have one of the lowest performing schools in the state and you're going to have to choose a model of intervention and one of the models that we chose was the um, restaffing, which means you basically had to uh, eliminate 50% uh, of your staff and as well as usually the principal is knocked out. Uh, in my case, I only had um, one or about two years of results and you, and you have a waiver for that because not many years have been under the belt of the, that principal, so they have a, a waiver to kind of extend. And one of the things that we began to realize is that we needed people in here who were focused on kids, that were student-centered. And so the collaboration with the Department of Education became a key focus because we, we discovered that their interest was on our kids performing well, but also on partnering with our successes of the past and taking that forward. You were successful in recruiting some very accomplished teachers who were also had a very high level of dedication, but we also have learned today that even some students uh, decided that they also wanted to take ownership and the success. So can you talk about that dynamic of partnering even with the students? Absolutely. Um, you know, I felt like one of the things is we had to reach out to the community, but before that we had to show immediate success. So one of the goals um, was for me to go out and recruit some of the top-notch talent in the state and across the country to bring them right here to Fern Creek. I felt like the most impact that was going to be made was not all the plans that we have in place, not all the um, great uh, things we might write on paper, but it was going to be, hey, let's get these individual teachers and staff that are going to be directly working with our kids and move them. Engaging teachers in a professional learning community to evaluate each student, focusing on college and career readiness, and culturally responsive teaching are all keys to the school's success. Our graduation rate has risen from 60% 60, 60 or so all the way to 82%. Um, our college career readiness has risen close to 55-56% from 19%. So we are, we are on the rise. Our academics are as high, you know, we're performing as high as we've ever been. And it's been an exciting opportunity for our kids. Keeping track of the numbers is the job of assistant principal Rebecca Nicholas, who works in the Office of Teacher Support and Data Tracking. She breaks down the figures for teachers, parents, and kids to hone in on problem areas. She developed a red, yellow, green system to inform how a student is meeting or struggling in certain standards. Students who see a clear path to success using a red, yellow, green system, I'm not a failure in everything. I'm read in this standard, I'm read on this topic, and the teacher actively works to provide a pathway to, okay, here's how you will get to yellow, and here's how you will get to green. So students respond differently to the red, yellow, green system than they do to a traditional grading system because they see a path out. Nicholas says Fern Creek is also focused on intervention in the classroom and after school using retired teachers and graduate students. Principal Barber believes Fern Creek has a workable and sustainable blueprint for success that doesn't cost more money, but does cost more in time, energy, and focus. In short, says Barber, if you allow educators to innovate, then kids will accelerate. I've hired a chef who is an English teacher, and I've hired an environmentalist who is a social studies teacher, and they combine to create a food literacy course to teach English standards through food. I think it's very important to understand that, you know, 
teachers with great experiences and vast amount of knowledge in how to relate to kids can be absolutely essential to the success of how a classroom operates. So what I'm saying is a traditional way of teaching may not be cutting the, the, making the mark. And so I think we need to rethink how are we um, investing in our teachers and what is it that we're preparing them for and how are we able to hit these moving targets with making sure that our kids are learning and teaching them how to learn.